energy drinks. Those flashy cans promising a jolt of energy, better focus, and superhuman productivity. Whether you're cramming for exams, pulling an all-nighter, or just trying to power through a sluggish afternoon, these drinks seem like a quick fix. But what's actually happening inside your body when you crack one open and take that first sip? Let's break it down, right here, on History of Simple Things. The moment an energy drink hits your stomach, the caffeine gets to work. Within about 10 to 15 minutes, it enters your bloodstream, triggering a rise in heart rate and blood pressure. That's because caffeine blocks adenosine, the chemical in your brain that makes you feel sleepy. At the same time, your body releases adrenaline, making you feel more alert and in some cases a little jittery. Meanwhile, the sugar content, often sky-high in these drinks, starts flooding your system. Your blood sugar spikes, giving you a temporary energy boost. If the drink contains taurine, B vitamins, or herbal extracts like guarana, they may slightly enhance the effects of caffeine, though their role in energy production is often overstated. After about 30 to 45 minutes, the caffeine is in full effect, this is when you feel most awake, focused, and possibly even euphoric. Your dopamine levels, the feel-good neurotransmitters, also rise, contributing to that sense of motivation and energy. However, this high is temporary. Your liver starts metabolizing the caffeine, and your body prepares for the inevitable crash. If you drink energy drinks frequently, you may also start developing a tolerance, meaning you'll need more caffeine to get the same effect over time. Here's the downside. About two to three hours after drinking, the effects begin to wear off. Your blood sugar plummets, leading to feelings of fatigue, irritability, and sometimes even headaches. This is especially rough if the drink was loaded with sugar, as the body responds by producing insulin which rapidly lowers blood sugar levels. Caffeine withdrawal symptoms can also kick in if you're a regular consumer. That sluggish, foggy feeling? That's your brain signaling it wants more caffeine. And if you give in, the cycle continues. While an occasional energy drink might not do much harm, consuming them frequently can put strain on your heart. Studies have shown that energy drinks can cause irregular heartbeats, increased blood pressure, and, in extreme cases, even heart palpitations. This is especially risky for people with underlying heart conditions, even if they don't know they have one. Caffeine also affects your nervous system. It stimulates the release of stress hormones like cortisol, which can leave you feeling anxious or restless. Ever had that heart-racing, can't-sit-still sensation after an energy drink? That's your body responding to excess stimulation. If you've ever had an energy drink late in the day and then struggled to fall asleep, you felt the effects of caffeine's long half-life. Even six hours after drinking it, about half the caffeine is still in your system. This means that a can you had at 5 p.m. might still be affecting your sleep quality at midnight. Poor sleep leads to, you guessed it, more fatigue the next day. And what do people reach for when they're tired? More caffeine. This creates a vicious cycle of sleep deprivation and dependence on energy drinks to function. Over time, Regularly consuming energy drinks can lead to more serious health concerns. The excessive sugar intake contributes to weight gain, insulin resistance, and even an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Many energy drinks also contain artificial sweeteners, which some studies suggest could alter gut bacteria and metabolism. Then there's the issue of caffeine dependence. The more frequently you consume energy drinks, the more your body adapts to the caffeine, requiring higher doses to get the same effect. 
This can lead to chronic fatigue when you're not drinking them and make it harder to function without them. Can you build a tolerance? Yes. If you drink energy drinks often, your body adjusts to the caffeine levels, making them less effective over time. This is why some people start needing multiple cans a day to feel the same energy boost. At that point, it's less about getting energy and more about avoiding withdrawal symptoms like headaches, irritability, and extreme tiredness. Long-term energy drink use can also lead to increased anxiety. High doses of caffeine combined with other stimulants like guarana can overstimulate the brain's fight-or-flight response. This can result in jitteriness, nervousness, and even panic attacks in some cases. Over time, people who consume energy drinks frequently may notice that their stress levels are higher, their mood is less stable, and their ability to focus without caffeine declines. If you rely on energy drinks for a boost, there are healthier ways to stay energized. Regular hydration is key. Dehydration can make you feel sluggish. Eating balanced meals with complex carbohydrates and proteins provides more stable energy throughout the day. For a caffeine fix without the sugar crash, black coffee or tea can be better options. They have caffeine but lack the high sugar content and artificial ingredients found in most energy drinks. Exercise is another natural energy booster, as physical activity helps improve circulation and releases endorphins. So are energy drinks the ultimate productivity hack or just a temporary illusion of energy? The truth is, they can provide a short-lived boost but they come with side effects that make them less than ideal as a long-term solution. An occasional energy drink isn't likely to cause major harm, but relying on them regularly can take a toll on your body, your heart, your metabolism, your nervous system, and even your sleep. If you find yourself dependent on them, it might be time to rethink how you manage your energy levels throughout the day. At the end of the day, your body doesn't need artificial stimulation to function at its best. It just needs proper care, good sleep, nutritious food, and movement. Maybe energy drinks should be the emergency backup, not the everyday solution. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.